3.4 is here. 4.1. And I'm going to have to make a uh, soft tissue model. So I'm going to be pouring some silicone around these. And I'm going to be demonstrating that today. So I'm getting my parts together. And I want to kind of explain what's been done already here. The implants were in, in the mouth and the doctor needed to make an impression using these pickup copings that are in the impression here. And with these pins he screwed the pickup copings into each one of the implant bases. Then he took the tray, put his material in the, in the tray, and took an impression of the mouth with the screws or the pickup coping screwed into the implant bases. After the material is set up and he's ready to pull the impression, he unscrews the screws here, the guide pins, and then he lifts the impression off and he has the pickup copings remaining in the impression. Now in the laboratory we have to duplicate what's in the mouth and so we use analogs to duplicate the uh, implant. So I'm going to place the analogs onto the pickup copings and screw them into place. Then I will pour my soft tissue material around each one. Okay, I have my analogs now. Now the analogs are an exact duplicate, a replica of the implant. This would be the base of the implant in the mouth. And that's what we're going to duplicate with our model here. So I'll take the analog and it has a uh, has female, a female part pickup is a male and there is a there's a a hex part on the pickup push it together the analog snap it into place now it's secure I'll do the same the 3.4 snap it you can see it wiggles a little bit. So to secure it up I will go ahead and use my wrench and screw these in place. This will stabilize them even more to make sure that when they were pulled from the mouth, the impression that the pickup copings weren't pulled out any, I will push, make sure that they are secure, and they are. Now I have to concentrate on where I want to put my uh, silicon soft tissue. I want to place it right up to where the analog starts at, which is right around here. Right around here. Before I pour the silicone around my analogs, I'm going to spray spray them with a the release agent. And I like to blow them off a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to mix my silicone up here, part A, part B, mix it together. And I'll need a small instrument, like a probing instrument, to apply this with.
just place it around the analog And it's really thin now, so what you can do is you can wait until it hardens a little bit because we're going to want to build this up about a millimeter, two millimeters. Millimeter, really about a millimeter and a half on these. Just build it up all the way around. Now it's quite messy right now as you can see it's flowed even into the other the other teeth but I'm going to be cutting this away so I'm not really concerned about that so I think I, I think I'm looking at about half a millimeter beyond where the, where the analog starts at, which is the base of the implant. My material's starting to really set up fast now, and I'm in pretty good shape. So there we go. We're going to let this set up. It'll take about 15 minutes before it gets uh, fairly rigid so we can use a uh, surgical blade to, to cut it away. We're going to uh, make some cuts here and here, here and here. We're going to remove any excess off the impression. And um, then we're just going to pour it up like a regular model. Okay, my soft tissue material is hard now or as hard as it's going to get and it's going to allow me to be able to use my surgical blade here to cut it apart or to section it so I'm going to make a little cut right next to the adjacent tooth And I'm going to make another cut right here. On the 3.4, I'm going to make But here I actually could have let this set up a little harder. It's, it's not as rigid as I really would like.
make another cut on the mesial. I don't want to cut into my prepped area there on my adjacent tooth, so I have to be careful there. Then I'll cut on the buckle. And on the lingual. Okay, I like to cut the corners off of these as well. A lot of this I'll, I'll be explaining uh, after the model is made. But I do cut the corners off. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow a little bit of the excess off here, like little pieces like this. And I'm going to uh, get ready to pour my dental, my die stone into this impression and start making my working model. Start uh, in the back. Just vibrate around the analogs. Pour this up like you uh, you do a regular impression now. Now, uh, what I need to concentrate on is making sure that. Um, Making sure that I put all the excess stone that I that I can around the analogs and on top of the analogs, I have to uh, build up this region and cover these analogs completely. And I have to make sure that the other side of the model is going to be uh, parallel in height. But it, uh, it's critical that you do cover these up. We can trim this back now on a model trimmer when, when it does harden. But if they're exposed, then um, you're going to have a uh, going to have a problem when you try to make the models. At least the type of models that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be I'm going to be making models that are um, that are glue articulated. They're going to be uh, set in uh, bases. So it's looking pretty good now. I can just play with my stone here. It's still a little wet. It's uh, I'm gonna probably add a little bit more, but uh, this is uh, basically all we're gonna do for right now. 
um, I'll continue to add a little more and any excess that's flowed over the uh, um, the um, tray I'll cut away so it'll be easy to uh, separate and then we will uh, go to uh, the next step My die stone is now hard and I can remove it from the impression tray. So the first thing that I do is get my screwdriver and unscrew the guide pin and set it free. This will release it from the, the analog. And at this point I just find a place to start opening it. It's like a regular model. You can see the cavity where the note that the soft tissue is still on the impression here. Since I have used a release agent, it will easily come off, uh, separate from the impression material and I can place this into my model. Looks nice. really would like to res restore the or keep the impression material inside the tray here I don't really want to pull that apart in case I have to reference back to it so we're gonna have to take a little time here you ever have trouble separating a the stone from your impression material you can pour water in between the two. That helps some now. Looks like we're coming well here. Okay. Checking my all my teeth, make sure there's no bubbles. Margins looks good. And take my silicon soft tissue areas here they come right off the impression material place those in place nicely
Here we go.